Right, good. Good morning, everyone. Um, let's start. Uh, earlier on, we mentioned about this uh, question. So let's try and recap and go through again. Uh, it says that the, the distance is 45 km of AB and um, AC is 60 km. But the information of the bearing is not stated. So let's try. So the bearing of B from A is actually 40 degree. So first from A means I will draw a north at A. I will also join AB and uh, we say that this angle is uh, 40. Um, next, we also see that um, it says the bearing of C from A is 110. So from A, again, I'll draw the north at A and uh, I will also join AC and we see that this angle is 110. So with this, we know that the angle inside is 70. Okay, so let's go. I want to find BC. So when I want to find BC means uh, I look at this triangle and I really want to uh, use uh, the, the, the conditions, uh, the different methods, all right? So the first method is really to ask ourselves, is it a 90 degree triangle? Uh, if yes, I can use Tuakaso. But the answer is no, right? So cannot use Tuakaso. And uh, B, uh, sorry. So for method 2, I want to know whether I can use sine root. So sine root is, uh, I need to have a known pair of length and angle. Uh, more precise is opposite angle. Again, I don't have because I got this length, I don't have this angle. I got this angle, I don't have this length, I got this length, I don't have this angle, right? So then I will need to move to cosine root. It's a yes, all right? Because if one and two is out, then uh, three definitely will be able to use. So let's start. So we say that, oh, cosine root is A square equals to b square plus c square minus 2bc cosine a so this is always the unknown length so this is the bc square and uh, i will try and fill in the other two lengths and you need to be very careful here because uh, for cosine the a must be the opposite angle. So if this is the length that you are finding, then you must use the opposite angle. So opposite angle is actually 70. Press this in your calculator, you will get 61.466, and we say this is equal to 61.5 kilometers. Done. Now, B part one. So you may pause the video and try and key in the calculator. Lah. So once you get the answer, then you continue. So now I want to find uh, D, and D is uh, along the road. So D is along a road here, and D is nearest to A, uh, B, right? The point D is nearest to point B. So we know that uh, earlier on we said that, hey, if Chunkyet stands here, um, Chunkyet is 45 km away from B. Uh, if Farvi stands here, uh, this is 61.466 away from B. B. So comparing uh, Chunkyet and Faris, we say that hey, Chunkyet is actually nearer. Uh, but Andres came along and said, uh, I, I want to challenge the both of you and then I want to stand a distance that is very near to B along AC, right? So when will Andres stand? So pause the video. Okay, so we say that, oh, uh, actually Andres just need to stand here because this point D Alright, this BD is definitely shorter than uh, AB and BC. Okay, so let's continue. So B part 1, I want to find the, the bearing of D from C. So D from C, let's use another color. So from C means I need to draw a north at C, right? 
so I need to draw a north at C and I'm able to to indicate this as a north but uh, I will need to have a point here because then I can label the angle so I just label E as E alright so now um, I also need to join B and D and I need to calculate the angle from north clockwise right so so the angle here is uh, I want to calculate this angle right so how do I do that so first I have to recap I have two parallel lines I have two parallel lines and uh, this angle X and Y so angle X plus angle Y is actually equals to 180 this is your interior angle okay so I then can find this angle right so let's try B part 1 so B part 1 we say that uh, angle E C A or E C D is the same thing uh, is equals to 180 minus 110 uh, and I will get 70 degree so I know this is uh, 70 and uh, I want to find the reflex so reflex means it's a big the out, out external the bigger angle and I know one full circle is uh, 360 and I got my answer so remember to write down the bearing so the bearing is uh, of D from C is actually equals to 290 as well so it's always 3 digit before the decimal place I want to find BD now so part 2 uh, I want to find BD I got to look at the triangle uh, so there are all together 3 triangles here 1 2 and 3 uh, but BD is not in the third triangle BD is not in, in triangle ABC so we leave it out alright so we say oh could it be in triangle should we use triangle 1 or triangle 2 so let's take a look triangle 1 has 45 has the angle triangle 2 has the length but no angle we don't know this small angle so I will choose triangle 1 so triangle 1, I will write down in triangle ABD. I'll try and draw a triangle in the same fashion, orientation. Uh, and this is my 90, this is my B, my D, my A, this is my 45, and this is 70. So it's a 90 degree triangle. Straight away, I'll use the kaso. So tua kaso. Um, I want to find out BD and to the angle BD is opposite and to the 90 degree is hypotenuse and this is my adjacent so I want to find opposite I will take my O I have hypotenuse I will take the H so I will use so so write down sine 70 is equals to BD divide by 45 so do a cross multiply uh, BD is equals to 45 times sine 70 and the answer is 42.286 and the answer is 42.3 kilometers okay so next I would like to do C so C is a different it's a concept it's a new concept uh, altogether so let's look at C so C is a helicopter that uh, hovers uh, above B and is 1.2 kilometer so how does this look like so B is not the, the, the helicopter is not on the paper the helicopter is above the paper so uh, I, I, I try and draw a helicopter okay I tried my best so this helicopter is here so what I want you to do is I want you to take a pen your pen uh, put your pen on top of B such that the 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 
pen is uh, 90 degree to the paper okay and I want you to imagine the helicopter is at the top of the pen so let me try and draw it here so usually I will draw a slant uh, like a rectangular block and this rectangular block uh, will signify that it is above the paper so let's do an experiment um, and I know this is 1.2 uh, so let's do an experiment uh, say for example I have a helicopter here uh, and this helicopter is sticking out of the paper, right? So if I draw a side view, it looks like that. Uh, this is B and this is the helicopter. So let's label this H. Okay. And I have three person. So I have uh, person A. Who is standing here. And person B, person C, who is standing, I need to draw to scale, otherwise it looks very weird. Uh, okay, so let me draw to scale a little bit. So person A, uh, 45 kilometer away, yeah, and I have a slightly further away one, which is 61 Okay, so let me try because there's no space in this diagram. So let me try and draw a longer line. And let me... Okay, so I need some space. Okay, so again, uh, person A standing uh, 45 kilometers away. And I have person C, right? Person C is standing very far away. And... Uh, this is uh, 61.46 okay can you imagine that um, let me draw on the paper so this triangle here that I'm drawing how do I indicate in the diagram so you have to imagine I draw a line like this and then this is the triangle that is sticking out of the paper and the other one uh, I also want you to imagine uh, that it is actually this triangle here that we are drawing here is actually sticking out of paper as well and it is uh, this triangle here okay so what is special about this is this is a 90 degree this is a 90 degree and my question is uh, Chen Kiet and Faris right Chen Kiet is at A And uh, Faris is at C, so who who will actually need to tilt the head uh, higher? Okay, so do you okay, so do you recognize this is a big angle? This is a small angle. So we can have two we have can we can have a conclusion here. Okay. If I want to have big angle of elevation, I need to have short distance because 45 is a short distance and therefore it's a big angle 61 is a long distance therefore it's a short smaller angle right so now the question is uh, where will uh, chosen stand all right so that he's he will tilt the hit the highest Okay, so if I can allow Chosen to stand, uh, invite Chosen to stand, I think Chosen will choose here. Right? Chosen will choose here, and then he will definitely look the highest. Uh, but this is not the case here. So Chosen cannot walk anywhere along the triangle. He can only walk from A to C. So shortest distance will be at point D, right? Because D is the shortest distance. So D will actually give you the biggest angle of elevation. So let's look at D. Yeah? So D here means I will um, look at the triangle. H, B and D. So let's fill in all the numbers that we have. Uh, we do have BD. BD is 
0.286 remember to use the uh, 5 SF and I want to find this angle so this is a 90 degree so we use the castle and we say that I have my opposite tick O I have my adjacent tick A uh, I don't have my hypotenuse this one I don't know so I cannot tick right and uh, I know that I will use tangent so I write down tangent um, angle H db is equals to 1.2 over 42.286 so i want to find hdb i will need to do a tangent inverse and i will have a five digit so this is 1.6255 and uh, the final answer is angle must be in one decimal place Okay, so what do we learn today? We learned that uh, shortest distance is always the 90 degree distance, right? So this is the uh, first thing you learn. So the second thing you learn is about an a, a object that is uh, sticking out of the paper. So uh, the key thing is it's always 90 degree to the surface. No? So as you can see here, 90 degree, 90 degree. Alright, and the second thing is uh, if I want the greatest greatest angle, so this is the third thing you learn, uh, greatest angle of elevation, uh, it's always uh, shortest distance, right? So I want a big, I want a short distance, okay? So uh, pause the video here and um, I would like to ask all of you to uh, take down. And what's next is... Uh, you will try this question, practice 3B and I want you to submit say by by end of today lah, huh? so by 19 uh, May uh, say by 5pm okay uh, so the deadline so when I will, will, I, will I check right so when will I check I will actually check uh, on uh, the following day uh, 9 a.m. So I will check on the 20th of May 9 a.m. So if you have not completed then uh, it is considered as late submission. Okay, so I hope uh, you understand this uh, video and uh, I would like you to post your question on Google Classroom say if you don't understand. So when you submit this, uh, I want you to submit as a picture. Just take a snapshot of what you have done and then just upload to Google Classroom. Alright, uh, I will see you on 20th May. Okay, bye-bye everyone.